go over here. Now this painting right here, I did of my wife when I first met her back in 1962. Mm. And she looked very Asian to me. She's not Asian, but yeah. she appeared Asian. So at that time I was working as a draftsman, but this is one of the first pictures I s try to get a style. Okay. And, uh, so try to get a sense of your own type of style, or just a sense Well, just to, you know, feel like I was an artist, okay. because I was a draftsman all my life. Excuse me. For, for people who don't know, what's a draftsman? A draftsman's a guy who makes drawings before the computer. Oh. Now you do it on a computer, <laughs> I did it with a pencil. Oh, okay. We work with pencils and paper. Yeah. And we design nuclear plants and submarines and paper mills, anything you can imagine in Manhattan. Hmm. So anyway, it's a little quote up there and uh, she used to take steno. I don't know whether that's Greg or whatever. It means I love you. And hmm. So that's the genesis of, of that. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, okay, this, is, this was the inspiration for my last show in Williamsburg. It's called Portals. Okay. And it started with this drawing of my daughter from a photograph taking her first step in life through a door. So the door or the portal represents life. Hmm. So that's how that started. And what made me go to drawings like this or paintings like this, which is like you're, you're in the painting looking in or you're uh, outside it's like another space or another time so that was the genesis of, of portals hmm. what's it about portals did your daughters inspire the yeah, idea this, of portals this inspired the, the whole exhibition okay gotcha so oh. i did uh, several portal paintings hmm. now this one if you see this window here that's here this is actually a i took a photograph of this window so it's kind of window on window on window and there's like, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's like a storm going on in the painting around around yeah. the window and there's a storm, a firestorm outside. So it's like, that's the portal idea. Uh, it's turmoil, I guess you could imagine that. So all of a sudden you started to realize, I guess, what are there, what are there some of the dimensions of the portal? I guess, well, I'm trying life, to, there's, there's uh, death. There's, basically yeah. what I tried to do Everybody's done everything. Rembrandt, Picasso, Gauguin, all the Impressionists, everything. it's all been done. I couldn't do that. Mm. So if I've, as you know, if you're an artist, you do video, you try to create something new. And that's the toughest thing in the world. Yeah. So my idea is whenever I do a painting, every painting is different than every other painting. So you don't see a style. Mm. So all of these are mine. I had them on a show. and. A couple of girls come in to look at the paintings, and they said, "Well, who's who did all these paintings? Who was the artist?" They thought they were done by various people. Various people, yeah. and I, I, they wouldn't believe that I did. You know, just style-wise. Yeah. I'm not saying they had the greatest paintings in the world. Yeah, I'm just yeah. style-wise. But you just started doing this. This is when I was doing photography. I was in Madison Square Garden, and I used to shoot a lot of boxing matches and stuff. And I happened to come home, and I had this picture where this fighter throwing that perfect punch at the time and I caught it at the instant the next instant this guy was out cold yeah. I thought it was pretty pretty good shot yeah. so then because I like boxing but I hate what happens to boxers mm -hmm. they have no retirement they have no life you know they don't get any money out they can fight for 10 years and they went yeah. just with a lot of injuries so sort of a tribute to boxing and I try to uh, make it mythical and sort of show the ring follow the rings through uh, the ropes through here this pattern i was developed and this sort of represents the violence and it's sort of a tribute to them i don't know if i did it or not but i like it it's on wood it's heavy wood it's sculptural again it's nice i love it it's you, know, cool. you know what pretty i mean cool. it's it's uh, yeah, the picture's pretty cool you know what I'm i saying? like the whole portal influence to a lot of your art well, that's what... Uh, like a picture within yeah. a picture, a life within a life, a view within well, a view, perspective well, within a yeah, perspective. Absolutely. But yeah. what I'm trying to say is, which side of the portal do you want? Are you looking 
at life from mm -hmm. outside in, or is life mm -hmm. looking at you from the inside? So you travel a little bit. We all do. And I'm yeah. inspiration yeah. indirectly. Or do you want the story how it happened? Okay. Okay. Went to Brooklyn Technical High School. I don't know if you're familiar with that. In Brooklyn yeah, is yeah. a technical yes. school. I took drafting for all the time I was there for years. It was it was it was required. So I'm sitting there, 18 years old, 1955. I got the New York Times in front of me. My mother says, get a job. Uh, <laughs> not really. She was sweet. So there was two ads in the paper. One was for a drafting trainee for $46. For, I think it was $46 a week. The minimum wage was $40 a week then, for a dollar an hour. And alongside that ad was a stock boy for the stock exchange or, or a... Uh, you know how you start mm -hmm. at the low level in the stock yeah. exchange, a runner, I yeah, think yeah. they called it a runner. So I chose, I chose the drafting because I had the experience, but maybe if I chose the runner, I would have been a very rich <laughs> man. <too. laughs> so that's, that's the way that went. Uh, this is kind of mystical. You know, you've heard in like uh, Asian or Indian cultures, the third eye, mm -hmm. eye that really sees yeah. your soul. So that's why I did that. Again, sculptural. I don't know mm. if you like it or not. Yeah, it's uh, colorful. I mean, like the colors are. Uh, this was for a charity in Central Park that I did. This was the poster for the charity. Okay. To raise money for 9 11, the tsunami, and Katrina. I like it. Like yeah, that's a great way to pull them all together. Great. This painting started out as I had the canvas. I said, let me do something that uh, looks like Angelina Jolie. <laughs> So I call it almost Angelina because, <laughs> because it never became Angelina Jolie. And, and then for some reason, I took the Arabic kind of filigree mm -hmm. patterns. Yeah. And I don't know uh, you want my method, but you just sort of make it, you peel it off and you, and, you know, you, you put a layer on there, you paint it, you peel it off. And it's like a stencil almost. And, and, and I just like it. it was, it's again, it's like iconic. Yeah. Uh, I don't, it's not really. This painting was based totally on the frame. My friend Eric, who lives over here, I don't mm. know if you're er Eric. Yeah, sure. He's a lot like Benny. Okay. You know, Benny <laughs> Gabaldi. Uh -huh. He's always bringing me frames. So he brought me this frame, and I says, geez, that looks like it came right out of the Arabian Nights, that mm. frame. So mm. what do I do to match the frame? So I made a, an iconic figure. Now, it's either the devil or somebody that's good, with what I, however you look at it. Yeah. So that's why I think it's iconic. Uh, that's a painting I did uh, in the 60s of Sophia Loren. Oh, okay. I used to, I used to like her as an actress. I, I saw all those errors. I grew up in the Depression. I was born in 1937. I can still remember the original World's Fair in 1940. I can remember it as mm. a kid. I saw World War II. Uh, saw the 50s, which was the 50s was, to me was the greatest era of all time. Uh -huh. And then I saw 60s, Kennedy, Vietnam, the whole thing sort of go down the drain. You know, we, this progression, it's like a full mm -hmm. spectrum. When you ask me what the, what the influence is, well, yeah. all of those were influences. Be aware of it, yeah, you're well, still... Well, for one to ten, you're learning. Yeah. Ten to twenty, you don't know what the hell you're doing. Twenty to thirty, you get married, you got a kid, you don't know what you're doing. Thirty to forty, you're lucky if you made some money now, or you're saying to yourself, what happened? The world passed me by. Forty to fifty. Now you're really in trouble. You want everything to change. Fifty to sixty, you sort of calm down. But you got to get through it all. <laughs> <laughs> so how's the seventies going? So how's the seventies going? Part. So getting, so getting through it all in one, in one piece. That's wicked. Yeah. Wicked. yeah. Any, uh, it, how do people get in touch with you, by the way? If people want to find you, reach out to you, see your work online? or uh, Well, I, my email is uh, Pucci, P-O-O-C-H-I-E, 1317 at msn.com.